wonderful morning to the Reddit engineers. Welcome back to Sonnet Institute of Technology. My name is Bruce Malaudzi and I'll be your instructor throughout this video course. This is the Reddit Certificate of Expertise in High Availability Clustering and this is module 2.3. In this module, uh, I will demonstrate on how to add a disk to the cluster resources. Please note that in this configuration, you can do it on either of the cluster nodes, but not on both machines. So I will do this on server one, uh, preferably. So it, please note as well that it is advisable and recommended to use UUID instead of the absolute uh, path to the block device. And in the previous model, I showed you where to get the UUID from. So to create or to add the, uh, the resources, you use the command PCS, uh, shoot the other node in the head, which is abbreviated as Stonet, then do the keyword create. After configuring, uh, you need to verify your changes. You use the command PCS, Stonet, and the keyword show. So let's get to the topology and see what we have. Back in GNS3, um, these are the two cluster nodes we have, server 1 and server 2. This particular demonstration or configuration needs us to perform only on one of the nodes, but not both. So I will use or I will go to server 1 and do the process. So here I am in server 1. I just need to log in. Okay, so earlier on we did verify that we do not have resources configured. So that will be system. System CTL status status okay and you can see that we have two nodes configured in this cluster but we have no resources so we can add the resources the command is fairly long please follow what i'm typing but i'll be explaining the command is very long so let's get started so to create the before we start um, uh, adding the resources let's check our UUID so that will be ls uh, forward slash device forward slash disk and we go by the keyword of by ID so this is the guy we are looking for so I'll take this one so copy and copy this and we'll paste it in our configuration so I'll do that and copy all right so once i have that copied into my uh, buffer memory i can start typing the commands and then i'll paste it when i get to the line where i need to paste it so the command is pcs shoot the other node in the head create and uh, i will say SCSI. All right, I'll say SCSI underscore fancy device. And I'll call my device as fence SCSI. command the other command is pc which is uh, pacemaker so the pacemaker host pcmak so the pacemaker host list i need to list my host so my hosts are i have server one and i have server two so I can close that and 
my pacemaker monitor uh, action okay i do apologize the commands are very long just have to follow so it's pcmk underscore monitor underscore action uh, the action equals to uh, it's metadata okay uh, pcmk uh, underscore report underscore action equals of devices equals now I need to paste my UUID so that will be device uh, disk by ID and then I need to paste my UUID okay and close that then I go meta profiles meta profiles equals unfencing Right. so the command is complete let's go through it again so the command is PCS shoot the other node in the head create so I'm instructing to create a fencing device so I named this device fencing you can name it your your way um, you can name it maybe Apache or something or cluster data or whatever you can name it and then the next thing I'm instructing a pacemaker to list the hosts which are involved in this cluster so these are the hosts I have server 1 and server 2 next I instructed pacemaker to monitor for action um, in the metadata so the action reboot I switch it off as you can see here and then I instruct uh, pacemaker is, uh, to to use this block device so I copied the UUID and pasted it here and then I'm instructing pacemaker to provide unfencing as well if the device fails so I can press enter now Okay, it's not complaining so now we need to verify our changes so the command is PCS as join it show so our facing device is named as face SCSI so you can you can name it whatever name you like to name it and then uh, the status started means it's online and if I do the command PCS status uh, you can see that I now have one resource which we just added earlier on within we had zero resources so which means our configurations were successful and you can see that our cluster is still online right here the cluster is online and we also have our cluster nodes online so basically this is how you add the resource to the cluster and remember you only do this configuration on one of the cluster members you don't do on both you don't do on all but you only do on one I would like to thank you for watching and I hope this has been informative. I will see you in the next video 
when we proceed uh, with the Apache configuration. Goodbye for now.